Hey guys, this is your Cloud Strategist channel. I'm Sridhar. In this video, we're going to look at some of the common questions from partners uh, while consuming Azure through CSP program. Um, today's topic is around the new Azure plan. So let's get started with those common questions. The first one, what is this new Azure plan and why should I migrate to the new Azure plan? Now, the new Azure plan is something that Microsoft announced uh, and is, is live right now. It's nothing but a, a commerce platform upgrade uh, in simple terms. Um, here, nothing is changing with regards to Azure as a platform uh, and as a technology. It's just the billing and the platform arrangement from Microsoft has, uh, has, has got an upgrade right now. Um, so the new Azure plan has got few changes that have come up. Um, so first important thing is uh, the product pricing. In traditional CSP Azure plans, uh, the product price were country specific. So for example, a product in Australia um, in Azure had an AUD pricing, something, uh, something similar to how somebody in Europe might have uh, a pounds based or a, or a euro based pricing. So, that is changing to a common USD based product pricing. So you will have a USD pricing all across and the billing currency would still remain the same. Probably you were billed in the local currency um, in the country, uh, that would remain the same. Now, obviously there is a question, is there an exchange rate involved? Yes, because Microsoft product pricing is in USD and you are billed in the local currency. So there's an exchange rate impact. Microsoft would announce this exchange rate on a monthly basis and do the usage calculation based on that. Uh, so talk to your uh, distributor or provider uh, to understand more on that. That's a key change that's coming in. Is it mandatory to move? I think it's a, it's a natural evolution. Um, as we go through this, I think even Office 365 and the other cloud Offerings from Microsoft would be part of um, this kind of an advanced uh, commerce platform. Uh, so it's good to embark on this um, new platform um, and obviously get the additional benefits of some of these capabilities like Azure Cost Management and Azure Lighthouse capabilities on this platform. Uh, Azure Cost Management was not available in the earlier CSP uh, model, but in Azure Plan, uh, that's made available. Um, is the billing different in Azure plan um, and is the currency changing? Like I mentioned, uh, the billing currency remains the same as you would have today, uh, but the product pricing is changing. So there's a exchange rate impact. Um, the other question I have is, um, do I still continue to get a discount on Azure plan? So partners are asking, uh, do they continue to get the discounts that they had in the earlier model? Um, the answer is yes, but the way the discount is applied is changing. Um, in earlier model, in traditional CSP uh, consumption for Azure, uh, the discount is, uh, is a flat discount that a DST might get from Microsoft and would pass on some of that discount back to partners. Um, but in the new Azure plan, the requirement is the distributor and the partner continues to have contributor and owner access or owner access in the customer's Azure subscription. Now, the reason why Microsoft uh, is insisting on this is to measure the level of impact a partner and a distributor brings uh, in the customer uh, Azure uh, consumption model. So the idea is to have partners contribute a lot more IP based services on top of just consuming the licenses. Uh, and, and craft custom solutions for their, for their customers. So in order to measure this, Microsoft is applying discounts only if you have access to the resources in the customer tenancy. Uh, if, you knock, uh, if, if customer knocks that off for some reason, uh, the discount will not be applied by Microsoft to the distributor, so the distributor might not be able to extend that discount level that you might have today uh, as a partner. So make sure you have impactful uh, conversation with your customers so that you could enjoy the discount levels. And it's purely based on the access rights on the resources that the distributor and the partner 
has on the customer subscription. Um, how is this calculated? Uh, the partner earned credit, which is nothing but the earlier discount version, uh, is calculated based on the fact that you have access rights on the resources. Like I mentioned, if you don't have access on one particular day, you don't get discount on that particular day for that particular resource. So it goes very granular in terms of the uh, access levels. Um, so if you if you don't have access on one particular uh, uh, resource or resource group, uh, but for the rest of the ones, you still have recognition uh, for the for the resources where you have access. Okay, so that's how the partner run credit is calculated in 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 older terminology. That's your CSP discount. Is the usage report uh, different for Azure plan? Uh, I think this is more around an API question. So the distributors who are offering their own platform, billing platform and provisioning platform to the partners to deploy Azure or Office 365, uh, what they do is the, the platform talks to Microsoft Partner Center using the APIs. Uh, obviously there is there are API changes in the new Azure plan. Um, so make sure you look through the documentation on the on the new Azure plan and make the changes on the platform accordingly. Um, does this impact the end customer? Ideally not because uh, nothing changes from an Azure perspective. The resources would, would continue to run as they are um, and there is only changes in the in the billing procedure um, uh, at the at the platform level. Uh, how do I migrate from Azure um, subscription, the existing subscription to the Azure plan subscription. Microsoft has made um, available an option in Partner Center whereby uh, on a click of a button uh, subscription will get migrated onto the new Azure plan. Now this does not impact your Azure resources so there is no downtime involved um, but you need to be uh, aware that there is a prerequisite that you have signed the MPA and MCUA before you can initiate that transfer. Um, so make sure you have signed that. Uh, if not, you won't be able to migrate or add additional Azure subscription in your existing model as well. Um, so those are the questions uh, I have. If you have more questions, please write it down in the comment. I'm happy to take those questions and, and get you the answer in the next video. I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.